Huawei Mate 50 series is definitely the most popular phone this year. Many people are looking forward to the new Mate phone that has been waiting for this phone for two years. In addition to the standard version of Pro and Porsche version, there is also a light and practical version of Mate 50e. So what is it missing? How is the actual experience? Is it worth buying? This video talks about my experience of using a week in depth. In terms of appearance and design, although the Mate 50e rear camera only has dual colors, but it continues the mid-range symmetrical design and circular image module layout of the Mate 50 series. The resolution is very high. The frame of the camera module is also designed in Paris. There is a fine texture decoration on the top. It will be about 0.5 millimeters higher than the back. I always want to rotate it like some physical circuits. This is the combination of frost silver, which is more classic and pure, plus Huawei's consistent exquisite workmanship, it looks very textured. This is the same 6.7 inches 90 hertz high refresh straight screen as the Mate 50. The overall display effect is very good. The picture is clear and transparent. It supports 1440 hertz PWM light adjustment, which can greatly reduce the flatness of the screen. It is much more comfortable to use a mobile phone with a weak light. In terms of grip, the Mate 50 is relatively thin overall. The weight of 201 grams is not heavy. In addition, the excess of the back frame and four corners have been made round-shaped processing. The grip is still very comfortable, but the back is a bit sticky. Overall, Huawei's Mate 50e appearance design continues the consistent simplicity and exquisiteness of the Mate series. The texture is romantic. If you don't look closely, it's almost the same as the Mate 50. The camera is one of the major upgrades to the Mate 50 series. Compared with the standard version of the Mate 50e, a telephoto lens is missing. But the main 50 megapixel RYYB main camera and the 13 megapixel ultra wide angle are both there. This time, the biggest upgrade is the X Magic image and the main camera 10 degrees variable aperture. The actual imaging is actually very good and very capable. The main camera can achieve 10 degrees aperture adjustment from f1.4 to f4. It's really more fun and more natural. I tested the performance of f1.4 and f4 in the same scene. The virtualization changes are very obvious. For friends who like photography, you can take more beautiful photos through the aperture. In addition to the virtualization of the physical aperture, the virtualization of the portrait mode is also highly usable. My son's photo is very natural to zoom in and look at the edges of the hair. This main camera has f1.4 large aperture, and the night scene performance is also quite good. The picture is bright, the highlight suppression and the color are all very good. I took a lot of photos with the Mate 50e, and I'm very satisfied with the whole thing. Even if there is no telephoto, two times and five times, if it's just a friend circle, it's okay. I don't know if you've noticed that Huawei is no longer focusing on advertising hardware. The focus is on the experience of what the phone can do for us. Mate 50 continues the Mate 50 series, Hungman OS 3, a series of excellent experiences. HHarmony OS 3's high performance convenience, everyone should be familiar with it. Open the application directly with the big keyboard and the card stack. Quickly switch and operate the application directly. It has greatly improved the interaction efficiency, and the new features that have been upgraded this time are also very useful. The first is the low power emergency mode. When there is only 1% of the power left, it will remind you to turn on the emergency mode in 30 seconds. Then switch to the emergency mode. You can choose six common applications in full black. In fact, you can wait for about three hours and make a call for 10 minutes. Scan the code more than four times. It's still very useful for occasionally powering up. The second is super space storage compression. For us who use WeChat as an office software, it's too useful. For example, I sent a couple of colleagues a 300 megapixel PPT and sent it to the group. I also use WPS to open it. When you open the file manager, there are 8 copies of the same file. It accounts for about 2, 5G of memory. The loss-free compression will delete 7 copies of it. But you can open every record you have sent before. If you used to clean up the data, you don't remember where you saved it. You can't open it by searching on WeChat. Huawei's self-saving space also retains the convenience of use. The third is the texture scan code. Unlock and open the phone. The normal scan code position will point the phone to the QR code. Two seconds later, the phone will vibrate and a recognition QR code icon will appear. You can double-click this icon or tap the back cover twice in a row. It will recognize the QR code and jump. Whether you are a payment code, health code, or other QR codes, it will need you to open the app according to the QR code type in advance. Direct recognition and jump. Convenient and saves time. The fourth is the super site. It's equivalent to giving you a notebook that can be used at any time. You can drag pictures, addresses, and text to the side of this site. When you want to send it to others, you can choose as much content as you want. Send it together, and directly share the content of the shortcut and the location information of the general comment. If you are a Huawei multi-device and also support the flow of devices, it can greatly improve efficiency. In terms of privacy, Harmony OS 3 has also made a lot of optimization. You can actually check the sensitive information of the app. When sharing photos of your name, ID number, bank card, and other sensitive information, you can immediately protect your privacy. I have to say that Harmony OS 3 has a strong sense of innovation. 
When you use it, you will remember it deeply. It will definitely help you improve efficiency and bring an improvement in experience. Finally, let's talk about performance and power consumption. Compared with the other three Snapdragon 8 Gen processors in the Mate 50 series, the Snapdragon 778G in the Mate 50 series is indeed worse. But it is completely fine to meet the daily regular use. Even if you play the whole game, the 30-minute battle is also very stable. And the heat is very small. The highest temperature on the back is 33.7 degrees Celsius. The charging speed is 66W fast charge. It does not support wireless charging. The charging rate is also relatively fast. The battery size is 4460 mAh. I tested the power consumption of the regular use scene for your reference. No problem using it for a day. By the way, there is also the Mate 50E that many people want. Overall, I am very satisfied with the depth of use of Huawei Mate 50E. Because the core part of the Mate 50 series, the Mate 50E has it. There are less low frequency functions that many people may not use. Compared with the standard version, it is also 1000 yuan cheaper. If you like the design and exquisite workmanship of the Huawei Mate series and the innovation of Hunmeng OS, the regular use is basically useless. Huawei Mate 50E is indeed a practical and super value added choice. Use the least money to buy back the core experience. What do you think? Okay, that's it for this video. What do you want to know? Welcome to leave a message. Thanks for forwarding comments and likes. See you in the next video. Bye bye.